So today I decided to go over the organization for three gerbils and a hamster. Um, maybe I should just name my um, YouTube account that. But at the bottom here, as you can see, there's lots of wood. So I use this bottom shelf for wooden chew toys. And then for an extra wheel and some extra toys. That's what the bottom is used for. This whole thing is a wire rack. I think it's about 12 bucks at Big Lots. So it's pretty big. Um, well, considering for what you would use it for. Um, here would be the hygienic shelf, I guess. Um, here are Clorox wipes, which I use to clean um, the wheels and things like that. Like for daily things that need to be clean and kills 99.9% .9 of germs 350 um, don't worry um, it's actually safe I don't let them you know run on their wheel until it's perfectly dry and clean and things like that so and back here is some more wheels I, I have an overabundance of wheels I can tell you that that's for sure on the bright side if one ever breaks I have a spare one so and this is the bathtub for them. For Presley and Riley, though, I just use a giant um, Tupperware because they have fun in it. And this is definitely more of, I mean, gerbils can fit in here, but both of them at the same time is kind of pushing that level. And then here is their litter box cleaner. I have a spare hamster potty that I haven't opened yet for Chloe when I feel like potty training her. Um, this is the bath powder critter bath powder. I use it for their baths. Um, and I know it's hard to say this is potty training pearls. Um, it's the litter that goes in here, but this is, I keep telling PetSmart is for bigger animals, but they won't sell, they have discontinued the sale of um, the smaller ones, so now I have to crush them um, to fit them into their uh, potty box. The perfect size for them. So, up here is like a miniature kitchen. You have every snack you can think of. We have extra food bowls. This is also an extra food bowl. It's a lamp. There's about three extra water bottles back there. An extra bag of food. Their main food bag, which is almost empty, is up at their cages. Um, down here at the bottom is cut up bath mat that I use to put underneath their playpen. This is one of the playpens, the larger one, the newer one that I got. At the top is for their balls, so I have two giant ones, um, the gerbils, and then on the top there's a small one for Chloe because she like she even looks too small to be put in here because those she was having a super hard time trying to roll around in it. So, and this is another small silent spinner for Chloe, the miniature dwarf hamster. Um, but right now she's using the saucer. She's the only one who likes that thing. This is another container that I have. This has, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of dark in here. I'm in the basement. Um, but it has tons of um, tubings, a rocking chair feeder, some more wood shoes down here, and another water bottle. So, there is just so much stuff they have. It's highly ridiculous. Like, there's this is a totally different tube from what this is right here. So, but, so yeah. So, there's the organization. This is about. 70, maybe 60% of my things that I have for them, but it's nicely organized. It's the stuff I use daily because in case um, the gerbils have gone through all their wood, I can always pick something out of here. And these are always nice. Um, these you can put on a kebab as well, as you can see the holes, but I don't have one of those. I've debated getting one of those, but um, I have nowhere to hang it currently in any of the cages. And then... Again, the nice cleaning area. I use these about daily. Pooper scooper. 
and then the kitchen, and then daily exercise. So this is more of a daily thing, um, not so much the uh, the tubes or the playpen, but I do use them when cleaning the cage comes about. But there, you, there you have it. So three gerbils and a hamster's organization.